Hi, my name is Wayne Huang. I'm co-founder to Armorize Technologies, and this is our new video of the Willie SY Mass OS Commerce Injection Incident. We'll be using one of the Armorize tools to analyze the injected malware in this video. So we will now start the Armorize Malware Monitor tool and also open up a folder. And what I'm telling the tool to do is to monitor all file creations in the C drive uh, filtered by .exe files only and when a file is created we copy it to the file bucket folder and the reason for doing so is a lot of malware will delete themselves after having done what they wanted to do and so now with this we'll be collecting all of the samples into this file bucket. We then start Fiddler, which is a free web debugger that will show us all of the HTTP traffic and finally we will start Internet Explorer and as you can see in the Armorize Malware Monitor, it's showing me these two processes that's been started. We're now ready to visit one of the infected OS Commerce sites, which is Union Bank Wine Store. We go to the website, and while Fiddler is showing us all of the HTTP traffic, the Armorize Malware Monitor is showing us what's happening with our computer. So there are two types of events. When it says run, it means that a process is started. And when it says create, it means that a file has been created. For a process that's been created, we show the process ID. And for a file that's been created, we show the MD5 of the file. So as you can see, four files have been created, but all with the same MD5. And that is why only the first of these file is marked as new, meaning that it's a new uh, malware sample. And when we detect a new malware sample, we copy it to the file bucket so that even if it deletes itself, we still have it and we can use it for future analysis. And now we want to analyze this infection from start to finish, from us first visit an infected OS Commerce site to our system ending up with malware installed. So we will make Fiddler bigger. And this is the first HTTP request. And let's look at the injection. And here you see the injection the iframe injected right after the title of the website. The injected iframe caused my browser to load from willysy.com, which had a simple redirection to another malicious domain, which had JavaScript that dynamically generated an URL and had my browser load from here, which then is another redirect, to these three JavaScripts that together generated an iframe to this domain. Now, as you can see here, uh, it's obfuscated JavaScript, and it actually generates two iframes, one to request 28, and the other one to request 30. Now let's first look at request 28. Now this is a piece of obfuscated JavaScript, actually an exploit. And after successful exploitation, uh, it caused my browser to download this binary, which created an event in the Armorize malware monitor here. So we see everything here, the URL, the HTTP traffic, and the event locked by the Armorize Malware Monitor. The second iframe, request number 30, was a PDF exploit. So as you can see here, my browser was served with a PDF document, which is the exploit, uh, and it caused my browser to launch the Adobe PDF Reader process. The exploitation was successful, and therefore in the next request, you see that, again, it's the same binary that my browser's downloaded to disk, which corresponds 
to the fifth event recorded in the malware monitor. And the exploit subsequently launched this binary executable that it had previously written to disk, which is event number six. And the latter events are created by the malware trying to replicate itself to other locations. The latter three HTTP requests that you see here with the IPs are the malware trying to connect back home to the command and control. So now let's go back to the very first HTTP request and find the injected Willie SY iframe. Uh, what I want to do here is paste the iframe into Google and ask Google for the number of infected pages. So I will copy the injected content here. Use the same browser. Go to Google. So we'll paste the iframe into Google. Submit it. And go to one of the latter pages in the search results to get a more accurate count. And Google tells us that for this particular iframe, there's more than 5 million infected pages already. And if we add the count of the other iframe, EXERO, that will be over 6 million infected OS Commerce pages already. Let's go back to the file bucket and let's submit this malware sample that we just collected to VirusTotal. Use the same browser, go to VirusTotal, and submit the sample by going to our file bucket. This is what we just collected. And so let's submit it. When we first detected this attack, there, were, there was only one out of 42 vendors on VirusTotal that detected this malware as SpyEye. And now, as you can see, there are already 26 out of 43 vendors being able to detect uh, this piece of malware. And so by visiting one of the 6 million infected uh, pages, our system was installed with SpyEye. And this is the uh, Amrise account of the Willy SY mass OS commerce infection incident.